Confrontation by Ellen G. White After the baptism of Jesus in Jordan, he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. When he had come up out of the water, he bowed upon Jordan's banks and pled with the great Eternal for strength to endure the conflict with the fallen foe. The opening of the heavens and the descent of the excellent glory attested his divine character. The voice from the Father declared the close relation of Christ to his infinite majesty. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The mission of Christ was soon to begin, but he must first withdraw from the busy scenes of life to a desolate wilderness for the express purpose of bearing the threefold test of temptation in behalf of those he had come to redeem. Satan, who was once an honored angel in heaven, had been ambitious for the more exalted honors which God had bestowed upon his Son. He became envious of Christ and represented to the angels who honored him as covering cherub that he had not the honor conferred upon him which his position demanded. He asserted that he should be exalted equal in honor with Christ. Satan obtained sympathizers. Angels in heaven joined him in his rebellion and fell with their leader from their high and holy estate and were therefore expelled from heaven with him.